Lindsay, thank you. Let's look at the roads in North Kansas City this morning. They're still expecting thousands to show up tomorrow for the annual Snake Saturday Parade. They have a snow plan. They had their road crews working hard to clear the parade route. It is a go for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Back on the Saturday before St. Pat's for the first time since 2019. So a lot of excitement, even with this nasty weather. Yeah. I understand why they want to go ahead and do they it. They have been very determined that this is going to happen. And it's so much more than just a parade. They draw huge crowds every year, even when the weather is blah. Yeah. You know? Look at 2015 weather was great and organizers told me they had about 125,000 people show up. My goodness. So many people make family memories of these. I grew up going to this parade. So why have the parade no matter the weather? One reason the charities competing with their parade entries. Everything that we do about this parade is to give money to charities. We hope to top $1.7 million to charities this year. It's undesignated funds. That means they can do whatever they need to with the money to keep their organization going. Our community is so committed to this parade and what this town has done for them for so many years. They are excited to come and show their support. We just got to get layers. No, just got to make sure we wear our layers and we will be good to go. And yeah, here's one group's float. We caught up with Misty from Halos and Hogs. It's one of the dozens of nonprofits that enter floats for the visibility for their cause, bonding with their volunteers and community, and to compete for the $7,000 top prize money Misty says they would use to really grow their mission. So Halos and Hogs raises awareness about sudden infant death syndrome, safe sleep practices, and to buy and give safety products to those in need for kids and small children. Barnard said they started this group to honor the memory of her grandson, Lucas. It's just very difficult, and as I said before, it's part of our healing um, to know that we're doing something to prevent what took his life that could have been preventable, possibly, and to know that we are saving other, other babies in the future. So they've been working on this float, and Misty sent us this video because this is the finished product that you're going to see. The pack see. and play on the float. And lucky to be born in North KC. The, the theme of the parade is lucky to be in NKC. It yeah. ends at the hospital on their float, North Kansas City Hospital. So uh, they had a spooky snake Saturday last fall just to try to have a chance to get these charities the chance to win that money. Yeah. They won first place. They're really hoping they need it again because they said that money makes a huge difference and for them. I mean, I, I think they're well on their way. That's My a fantastic goodness. float. They put a lot of work into it. Nice, nice job. More than a parade. Can't wait to see that. Glad they're able to go this weekend.